so I remember now, and that's my favorite. I went to um, Louisiana to help mentor some of the students there in Kwanzaa camp, and you know we taught them the meaning of Kwanzaa, et cetera, and that that's been my favorite project to this day. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping, you know, with college, and you know, I don't want to get busy in my studies just that. And with Lipscomb, I'm a it's a Christian college, so I'm learning with that, and also, you know, I'm looking to get into the community and continue to help there because my generation we are so lazy we're always on our <laughs> I'm yeah. serious we're always on our, phone, head, yes. right. <laughs> we're on our phones and you know we'd rather be on the computer than out helping someone else you know giving them the blessing <laughs> that we receive so yeah. I'm hoping to inspire some of my generation to get out there too to help you know I, I, I admire you mm -hmm. um, because what you said is so true. Mm -hmm. I admire what you say because I have an adopted daughter that I adopted her from birth. Right. As she's been like my daughter from birth and we went to church together. She didn't know who I was, but she would always run into my arms at, right. you know, when she was small. And here today, she's in college. Mm -hmm. But she had, when you was talking about hard time getting mm -hmm. in, into college, she had to come here. She's from, she's from Georgia. Mm -hmm. She uh, comes here during the summer, and she just she, she lives with her aunt during the summer, and then, then it, when the school's in, she goes back to, right. to Atlanta. And she came here this past year to work for a whole year because mm -hmm. she didn't have enough money mm -hmm. to get into college. So I, I, I adhere to what you're saying, and it, 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 it's an inspiration to me. And uh, I send her money once a month to help her out. See, she's she's great. 19 years old. She's in pre-med. Okay. She goes to Lang College. Mm -hmm. I'm giving I'm giving I'm giving Lang a little plug right, here because right. uh, she's in college and she's doing great. She's a 4.0. Mm -hmm. 4.0. Never made a B in her life. Mm -hmm. And she still had trouble getting in college. Right. Why is that? Right. They, they shouldn't kids that are, are are doing well like that. They shouldn't have that much trouble getting funds and funding for college but it, it still happens you know and I have a good friend um, and she has a 4.0 she was our valedictorian and she was you know hoping to go to Vanderbilt Vanderbilt did not choose her they chose another girl you know from our school and she her GPA is lower than a 4.0 it's like a 3.9 or something like that why is that I don't know. Right. Well, uh, I mean, I don't know, but uh, everybody's looking at me like, hey, like I got theirs. I don't. I mean, I, from what I, a lot of, you know, how much you're involved in the community, some of that, maybe some of that played a role. Uh, did she, was she class president? Class like, president, involved, was, everything. Oh, she didn't get it. Yes, oh, right. She didn't. Okay, wow. But I admire what you're doing mm -hmm. because, you know, your calling could be going back to Laverne High School, talking right. to those guidance counselors, right. maybe calling the school board, right. sit down and talk to Harry Gill's school director. I guarantee you, Harry will listen to you. Mm -hmm. Call Wayne Blair, school uh, school board rep, the chairman, Wayne, Wayne um, uh, Rick, Mr. Um, Wise, okay. talk to him. So there's a lot of opportunity out there. And you went to, you went to, you, you recall, I, I, I know that you must have a passion to be helping, mm -hmm. but you, there's so much, young people listen to you, before they, they listen to me right. or Carl or Leo or Brian, you know. So I admire I admire you speaking the truth, you know. I just and and, and I tell you this generation, y'all's generation, he is lazy. The video games and all this stuff, to me that's really hurt. It's really hurt society. Right. It has. Don't you think though, Carl, that that that's really what Dr. King wanted was to inspire people? Yes. I mean, it, because that's really what got this conversation started. And as, as we wind up, um, just his words are inspiring. His, his you know, in, inspire people like he told you here to, uh, to do great things. But one thing that I admire, even though she was pushed away, she kept pulling. And uh, she didn't give up. And, and to the young kids out there who eat some out there in the streets, uh, they, some of them don't see no hope. And we have to be that hope for those children out there in the communities. We need not to look down on them and criticize them, but where are our elder people, those who proclaim the gospel? Where are those people who can reach out and, and motivate and, and pour some classes together or something together and without worrying about the government doing it? We need to do it. Yeah. And we need to step up and use our two senses and, and let them add together and be that uh, manifestation that 
Martin Luther King was talking about. Well, we've had so much going on this afternoon. Guys, I thank you uh, for, for being patient and being with us. We do have another weather update, and it's about top of the hour time, so uh, we'll do it again soon, all right? All right. All right. I all right, uh, appreciate all of our guests joining us today. We're going to send it back to Scott Walker at the station, who has an update from the Weather Eye Weather Center with staff meteorologist Laura Lockwood.